It is Class Act Friday. Chris Raggy is live at James Madison High School in Brooklyn. So, Chris, how's the energy out there? Well, I tell you, the energy is something else. With every one of these that we do, each time, each time, the schools bring it more and more. And we've got a great turnout here today. Everybody's up bright and early here to come celebrate what this school is doing and also to honor a famous alum. Tomorrow, before the football game, the Midwood uh, Madison football game, there's going to be an incredibly emotional dedication process. These athletic fields, which have taken years to refurbish, are being renamed in honor of a hero, a former football and baseball captain and famous alum, firefighter Dan. Sir. I'd say um, of all of the honors that have been given to him over the years, this one, this one means the most because he loved playing at Madison. And him being in high school, he was the star athlete. He was friends with everybody. Everybody knew him. It's something special that he gets to be... Um, remembered in this way. Danny Sir, a 9-11 hero, a devoted husband, father, firefighter, and friend to so many. It seems everyone has a story about Danny. I did play with him. Uh, he was, uh, I would say, ahead of his time. So uh, his nickname was Pappy because he was always telling everybody what to do and he was always looking out for people. He was like a father figure even when he was, you know, 15, 16 years old. To understand the kind of man Danny Sir was, look no further than Engine 216 in Williamsburg. Everywhere you look, this 9 11 hero is looking back. Danny was the first confirmed firefighter death on 9 11. His memory and his legacy live on in the firehouse and with everyone who knew him best. He's just a guy that was always under control and always everybody gravitated to him because you knew he'd lead you the right way, yeah. especially on the fire department or, or on a football field. This football field, where Danny was a star, will now bear his name. There was nothing better than watching Danny play football. He was really fun to watch. And there was a lot to watch. Danny was a star captain of the football and baseball teams at James Madison High School. He also loved playing for the FDNY's football team versus the NYPD. He loved raising that trophy. The tragedy in this is Danny missed out on raising his daughter, Brianna. She was just two years old when Danny passed. It's getting harder. She's 24, and she misses her dad now. Everything's bittersweet. And in the beginning, I was so focused on just making sure she got to everything on time and, and being happy for her, that I didn't have the chance to feel bad for what he was missing. Yeah. But now, like, and when I can look back at the 22 years, it, my heart breaks all over again yeah. because he missed everything. But now, every time Brianna or anyone enters Engine 216 in Brooklyn or looks to the scoreboard at James Madison High School, one name stands above all the rest. It really evidences the community. We are um, renaming our fields in memory of Danny Sir. And it's just something for our kids to look up to and recognize that they too can make their mark in our society. The before and after images are just the way Danny would have wanted it. Better now than when he left it. For years to come, students, athletes, parents, fans will come and they will see the name and hear the stories of a hero since day one. I think this is just, it's like the cherry on his life to get this field. You know, it's, he loved it there. Yeah. I can, I still see in my head sitting in the stands watching him play there, you know, as a young girl with my varsity jacket and his, you know, like, <laughs> it was so corny. We weren't in Greece, you know, but. Um, but it felt like it. <laughs> it. It did, it did, it was, it was, you know, I, I think I'm excited for it, yeah. I am. And we wanted to say, Nancy, thank you. Nancy was lovely to deal with. This is Danny's older brother, Chris, Head football coach Tommy Salvato, uh, Steve Orr from the Touchdown Club. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. I know it's emotional to, to watch it. And, and Chris, thank you for being here. I know, you, as you said, you don't love the spotlight. Um, what's it like, though, to see this kind of turnout, to see the fields finally being dedicated to your brother here 22 years later? 
it's it's quite an honor uh, for my brother and for my family. It, Thanks um, for everybody being here. I, I know Nancy was saying, you know what? He would have loved this honor because he loved this place so much. That's right. He he definitely loved Madison High School. How much you miss him? Tremendously. Coach, I know you played with him and you knew what kind of guy he was. Um, can you speak to just uh, how great an honor this is for a man who obviously deserves it? Well, I know that Danny would be so excited about this whole thing. It's just a great thing for him, his family, and a great thing for Madison. Steve, uh, I know when, when you and I talked the other day, it's still, even though it's 22 years later, it, it's still emotional to not only talk to him, to see the pictures, um, but to now see his name on that field, though, forever is, is going to be quite an honor. It is. And uh, hearing from so many people that uh, that played with Danny that we haven't seen in years that are, that are planning on being here tomorrow for this uh, great event uh, makes it makes it worthwhile and it's well deserving that we do this for Danny. Chris, how bittersweet is it that the other former players, firefighters and whatnot, friends of his and family, uh, I know his daughter's coming up, Nancy will be here tomorrow to have everybody together to see this honor. That's fantastic. Tomorrow should be a great day. Yeah. Uh, and, and coach, uh, to switch things up on a little bit of a lighter note, you got a football game to coach tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> uh, you know, we're trying to stay focused on that. That's the most important thing, and uh, hopefully we'll come out uh, on top tomorrow. Yeah, and Steve, um, I'm going to just jump over here real quick because I want to keep reaching yeah. across. But you talk about what a great guy Danny was and, and how you knew him and how tough that was back when you found out the news uh, 22 years ago. Um, as it comes now full circle to see that his name is obviously still in lights and people are still turning out for him, and it still means so much that his legacy lives on I just think uh, it shows the guy he was uh, from high school through his uh, football career and his fire department career, uh, how much he meant to so many people that 22 years later, the turnout we're going to have and what we have here and what we're doing, the school is doing for him is just amazing. His name will be etched on these fields for years to come, which is so deserving and such an honor. And I want to thank the three of you. I, again, I know this is emotional, and we really, really appreciate it. Mary, Cindy, I'll send it back to you. Obviously, it's exciting here. There's a lot of noise, but everybody obviously paying huge respect to a man who gave his life on 9-11, who is revered as a hero at this school. They were born before 9-11, so I think this is another way to, you know, make sure no one ever forgets the, the younger generations. Yeah, so special to hear from his wife yeah. oh, and his brother. And uh, so much more coming to you from James Madison High School, our class act today. It's five